vector triple product. What does it mean? It means that there are three vectors. And if we multiply the three vectors, the final output we're going to get is a vector quantity. And this vector triple product is denoted as A cross B cross C. Both the two operators are cross operators. Now, if A, B, C are the three vectors, then the formula for vector triple product is a dot C B minus A dot B into C. So how to remember this? First, multiply the A vector with the far value, which means which is far away from A vector. That is A dot C and write B as it is. Next. Multiply A vector with the remaining thing that is B and write it and write C as it is. A very important note over here is if it is like this that is A cross B cross C then we can use the same formula that is first Take the negative of this, that is C cross A cross B. Now again apply the same thing, that is first multiply C vector with the far value, that is which is far to the C vector, which is nothing but C dot B and write A as it is minus C dot A and write B as it is. Now you will get it as C dot A B multiply the negative sign inside the bracket that is C dot B into A. So if you observe this value that is A cross B cross C and this value A cross B cross C, both the values are different. Therefore, A cross B cross C is not equal to A cross B cross C. This is a very important note to remember. There is an important note over here that is if a vector r, some vector r, if it's lying in the plane of vector b and c and perpendicular to vector a, then this r vector is nothing but the triple product, which is a cross b cross c. So here, the r vector is perpendicular to a and r vector is coplanar with B and C because it's lying in the plane of B and C. Okay. This kind of statements can be given in the questions. So it's very important. So just remember if it is said, if it is told that a vector is lying in a plane of two vectors and perpendicular to another vector, which means that talking about the Vector triple product. Okay.